Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Writer's Block Podcast. All right, we are here. You already know what's going on. Your boy Bobby right here, back for season four. Shout out to y'all for clicking play or play wherever you at, Apple, Spotify, the tube, you know what I mean? You, not porn. Um, but we also got my regular guys in the building. Uh, why are you making that face? Why are you looking so... <laughs> I was trying to access the Spank Bank and see if there was a, a, a porn tube account. Of yeah, website, well, I was saying, like, we're on the it. tube. We're on the oh, YouTube. you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not even called porn tube. I'm That's sure there bad. is one. I'm sure yeah, there is one. I fucked it up. My bad, guys. <laughs> I'm Logan's sh- here, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah. And, Woo. and we got my boy back again, the newest member of the gang. We got Romy Rome in the building. Hey. Yeah. The boys are bike in town, man. Um, real quick, man, we appreciate y'all rocking with us. We just put out um, our last episode that we did was the folio episode. Um, the airlines kind of fucked up my computer. If you don't know, if you've been seeing my Instagram stories, so I, that's why I haven't been able to put out any of these new ones and we may have uh, may have lost some stuff but what up we'll sue delta and Air american when we get there um but still man we back here giving you all this delicious good ass content that you can eat up on any day of the week drink up any day of the week because we fuck with y'all and we love y'all and all we need from y'all is to fuck with us and love us too so if you check the bio right now you can support our podcast your favorite podcast whatever um there's one dollar tier three dollars five dollars eight dollars ten dollars and you do not have to sign up or make an account it is the new direct wave shout out to buzzsprout for putting us on that link right there um so yeah man that helps us out man we can get new equipment upgrades um i'm so close to getting this damn computer i'm literally going to buy it after this podcast thanks to many of you so real quick before we move on i want to give a couple shout outs um because we do have some people who've already subscribed patron sponsors Um, uh shout out to my boy russ all right russ donated ten dollars to us Uh, shout out to russ man we appreciate you we love you brother thank you for everything man uh that's gonna go to some real good stuff shout out to brene brene joined the three dollar tier we love you we rock with you shoddy um and shout out to tasha on the ten dollar tier we love you we rock with you shoddy um that's my mom, by the way. <laughs> go double go. I said her first name. She's gonna listen back to this. Like, boy, what the hell you talking about? Right. Oh man. You but that's the thing. I, my, my mom, like, my mom's black. I don't have the like, same kind of relationship that Logan does. Logan calls his mom by the first name. I don't call my. I never called my biological mother by her first name. Oh, it's just the new. Okay, okay. Not I the got new it. one. That's how. I didn't know what to say. It's hard to delineate. to delineate when you have gay parents. My my mother was gay, so you have yeah. my mom, and then you have her. Shout I'm out to all the gays. It. Shout out to all the gays for sure. We'll and get to Tom it later. Yep, we'll we'll, we'll get, get to it. that later. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. So I just call her Becky. I call my dad dad. I don't yeah. call my dad Denard. Daynard. It's actually Daynard. Actually, that's the most. Oh no, dude. I I picked that up from white folks, dude. I called my really. <laughs> I don't fuck around, but especially I like when I got in an adult and started working, dude. Yeah, like, uh-huh. well, we doing the same thing now. We not, we <laughs> both out here working hard. Yeah, so it's, I, it's, still, it's, I still say mom. Uh, I still said that. I'm old school, I guess. My I don't mom, know. Yeah. I mean, it's just like My mom would hit me with, who, who is Brianna? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. Uh, listen, man. But yeah, we appreciate y'all. We rock with y'all. We love y'all. We also have a new Discord server that y'all can join. Nice. Logan worked Real very, nigga. very hard to set up this Discord. It's for a way for y'all to keep in touch and stay in chat with us. Uh, Real super easy, man. So we're going to put that link in the bio as well. Um, like I said, man, season four, we're doing a lot of things a different way. We're trying to come up out here. Oh, you got to. Yeah, I can't wait to. This damn folio article drops, man. And we got some some uh, real cool stuff playing later down the line as well. Um, but, you know, let's get some energy in the building before we start. Let me get, can I give a proper intro to the people? Can I give a proper intro to the Please, people? Please, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good. All right. Let's ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am your, I am the Bobby Brown Jr. And we got some guys in the building. We got LDB, the illest producer on the ones and twos. You heard? <laughs> My guy. Logan Butler, go stream his music wherever you at. We got Romy Rome in the building. We the freshest niggas to ever do this podcast shit. Fuck is these niggas talking about? 
<laughs> yeah! This shit actually just turned me up. Not even Coming to you live from the place to be here in Jacksonville, Florida at the Comedy Z-O-N-E. You already know up. how we do it, baby. Shout out to everybody in their cars on their way to work, on their way to their jobs, getting off their jobs. We rock with you, clock in, run the clock, go you know, go to the bathroom while the clock's still running. Nigga, fuck that boss, nigga. Yes, What is facts. these niggas talking about? On the job. Nigga, nigga sit down shit. when you see an open Piss. chair. Fuck these niggas you. talking about in the restaurant. They got my legs hurt. What are you talking about? All that shit. I co-sign all that shit. Put, put some gas in your car, even though you only got eleven dollars. They got eleven dollars yes. worth of gas gonna get you That's where you shit. need to go. Three, three, three gallons. You can make it across that. What's the pink bridge? The, the red bridge out. You can make it over there, nigga. Matthews. This nigga yeah, don't know none of the bridges. How you from Jacksonville? Don't know none of the bridges names, bro. I know the green bridge, the blue bridge, the red bridge. Okay, uh, that's none of their names. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the, no, no, nigga. All my life, I, Heart what? Bridge. Yeah, Matthews. Yeah, Main Street. Dames Point, Acosta. See, you name it. I didn't know we had that many bridges. Bro, we had seven. You went past. What color seven. are the other ones? I only know the three. They all concrete. That's <laughs> <laughs> just concrete, nigga. Bro, I don't. I really. I don't know. What's, man. The, what's the seven one? The I Matthews, don't know. Dame Street. You know what? Honestly, I think that, I, I don't think anybody in Jacksonville can name all. If you if we did, a man, I can name if, all if, seven. If we and I did the man on the street shit, and you were like name all the bridges <laughs> in Jacksonville. <laughs> I don't think that everybody uh, would get that shit. They are gonna get like three, four. Yeah, times. or they are gonna call it what I called it: the Blue red bridge, blue bridge, or the green. What's the same like bridge? The bridge yeah. over on the north side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real Jacksonvillians don't even know the bridge name. We just know the colors, bro. You know the colors and the street. And, like where it's at. <laughs> For sure, bro. Maybe there is. Maybe there, there should be seven, but maybe, yeah. like, maybe I can't think of this. Listen, seven. man, um, I'm glad that y'all are here, gentlemen. Uh, it's been a while. I'm glad we get to sit here in fellowship. How's everybody doing? What's going on, man? Oh, what, what, what did I miss? Who wants to go first? Jeez. I you know I'm living life, man. So yeah, every I see day. you. I see you living life. <laughs> getting big, getting swole. You in know the gym, what I mean? in the gym, in the yes, barbershop. Uh, not in the barbershop. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I, you I need look, to get a cut. Logan got that. You got that. You got that Puerto Rican hairstyle right now, nigga. That, you, is what, that, that is what all the Puerto Rican men are wearing right now. My nigga. What Tell you me mean, I'm lying, bro. bro? I'm literally just wearing. I just literally have some some shea moisture in my shit, bro. Yeah, nigga, <laughs> nigga trying to be bad. Buddy. You hating? <laughs> you hating? You good buddy, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You hating? And you also right about that too. Shit, you just hating ass. Nigga, but it's okay. Niggas, uh, niggas want to be fresh and I'm clean. I'm trying to go down as one of the greatest haters in history, bro. You know. Well, you're off to a good start, nigga. Because you, you, you hating on you hating on greatness. You hating on greatness. Uh, but have you been? Have you been well? How, how's your mental health? You talk about all the physical mental shit. You be doing, shit. Yeah. I haven't gone to therapy in a while. I told you this is therapy. Every time you see me, I therapize you, brother. No, I you don't. You. No, no, I no, 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 yeah. no. I just realized that I wasn't. I was really going every every however many. Months or how many times a month and the shit I was talking about the same shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, ain't shit changing because <laughs> fuck, it can't change. I, <laughs> I hate my job, but I got a car payment, nigga. Yeah. So, you know, I hey. fucking it is what it is. Nice, you know nice. Romy, how are you doing, bro? What's good, Romy? Talk I'm to me. Dude, I'm Talk doing to the pretty people. good. I'm pretty good. I can't complain, bro. Um, it's been a wild week for me, bro. Like. I don't know. The ladies was out of pocket this week. For yeah. Me, bro. yeah. Wait, like, like, okay, let's talk. Oh, about shit. The ladies was, was out of pocket. <laughs> we really getting there already. My brand of out of pocket is now when the ladies do this thing to where they cut the ass out of the shorts to where it ain't no pockets. <laughs> no. So you mean they was twerking with no pockets? No, or you bro. Saying, just like, acting wild. Acting, acting wild. wild. I think... I don't know. I got a running theory, bro, that, like, pretty girls are real disrespectful, bro. Mm. Like, because they can afford to be, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yes. they're going to put up with it. So, catch this, right? Uh, Shadi come up to me, and she's, like, being a little flirty. She want to ask me, like, hey, how tall are you? Right? And I tell her, like, oh, I'm, like, 6'4", whatever. You put some sauce on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I was going to say, you nigga, <laughs> nigga did put a little bit of sauce on it. threw eight extra inches on that pot. Bro, that was, tell me why that's what she got me, bro. She was like, you, you lying, bro. You're not no 6'4". Yeah. You know, bro, and that's, like... How you gonna tell me about myself? Is you a doctor? You got a measuring right here, bro. You gonna pull out the tape? Pull out a yardstick yeah, from bro. her pocket. And she's like, you like, oh. you like a good six feet on a good day, bro. You, you yeah. might be oh, six feet not on, on a good day. day. I was like, bro, what you doing? And I just, it was so wild to me, bro. Cause like, if I walked up to a woman, bro, and I was like, hey, baby, like, how much you think you weigh? And she mm. goes like, oh, I'm like 115, and I look at her dead in her shit, and I'm like, nah, you like 185, baby. <laughs> 
you like, yo, you yo, like, maybe, yo. you maybe like 170 that on would a good be day. Crazy. Bro, she be ready to slap me in my face, bro. So I'm like, how you gonna just come up to me like this? Just because you cute or whatever. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Go, it's what? It's too, because you can't really control how tall you are, but you can control how heavy you are. But, <laughs> but, but a girl definitely act you like, you crazy as fuck if you're not tall. But, I've never had the problem, yeah. but I Actually, know niggas that um, do have the problem. They're doing this thing now where you can't control how tall you are. You can't get an EBL. Where this dude went to like Africa or some shit. He paid like a hell of money, thousands of dollars, and uh, he got his knees extended or something. <laughs> yeah, like that. you get an EBL. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> you yeah. can't. You can get like you get three inches on your knee, but you got to learn how to walk again. That's yeah. the side oh, effect. That was, yeah, that was that, that, bro. That nigga, that nigga came back, bro. He was going like, like you ever seen Family Guy? He was moving like the old man with the walking stick, bro. Like that's yeah. how slow he had to go. Me personally, he I never. Used, he wasn't used to that height. I'd never let a nigga give me extra inches and make me have to learn how to walk Pause. again. But. <laughs> <laughs> I, was saying, I would never do that, but yeah. I would never have to either. Yeah, because you know, I, but you, you saying you got enough inches? Uh, I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, well, right. so, sometimes I'm tall enough. I'm tall enough. Uh, it can work. I'm, I'm glad. It can work. I like being tall, but there's parts of me that like. I wish I could be like just short for a day, just to feel. Is that it. a diss? Like, nah, nah, bro. Oh, okay. Just like it's something about First like. Of all, why you looking at really that? short? Why are you looking at that nigga like I'm not also kind of tall. You didn't even look at, you didn't even <laughs> look at me just because I'm the shortest nigga on the podcast, <laughs> nigga. My, six, gonna, my <laughs> six foot even still count. I don't give a fuck what you bitches out there saying, nigga. I am six. I meet the quota. <laughs> you know I meet the baseline requirements <laughs> to run the program. <laughs> Absolutely. Bro. I would just want to be short because, like, bro, nah. I'm gonna get. A hump in my back or scoliosis, yeah. fucking around with women, bro. Mm. Cause like, ain't no girl tall enough for me to just kiss her, bro. Yeah. So like, it's just like, or like, I don't know. You, just, just, you need to start going to the WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need, oh, they out there. Yeah. Trust me, they out there. I met a few of them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they used to be Logan's bag. They five. He used, to be, he used to be at the court. I don't got no bag. All the, all no the hoop bag. shorties. That nigga. He was a UNF. I was not bagging he was, none of he them. He was showing bro. girls that like was cross not over between the leg moves. You know how, <laughs> was, you know how <laughs> niggas be showing like like when you go like putt putt on a putt putt date. Yeah. This nigga was taking girls on basketball dates. Like let me help you with your form. Bro, I feel baby. like that's cat. Let me, uh, like, it is cat. Like, Thank most, you. Most WNBA girls, bro. They gave. <laughs> Actually, bro, you'd be surprised how many how many of them are not. Honestly, it's probably like seventy percent dykes and like gay. Bro, let's look it up, man. Let's look it up. I don't think that's true. How many women up. in the WNBA are gay? Let's look it up right now. <laughs> Let's look it up. I'm so curious. I had this discussion with somebody before, and I was like, I don't think there's yeah. actually as many as you think. Also, I know, I'm bro. glad that we're talking about gay women because I got a story. I got a segue for y'all ass after this, boy. Well, <laughs> well, let me see what we get, Logan. How many? What, what's the number they say? Uh, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to look it up right now. Hold on. Hold on. All right, all right. Gonna I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess and say like a good. Like it's only seat. thirty. 30% are registered it, bro? Like who come out. They probably In come 2022, out. nearly 30% of all players identify as gay, lesbian, trans, or queer. With the 2022 NBA, WNBA season nearing an all-star break, teams' rosters are pretty much set. Yeah. They say it's anywhere, this article says anywhere between 30 and 58%. So that's what, like, like two but people But tip-off last season, it was only 20%. So it's going up. So it's gone. Maybe it's people that are open. But I'm telling you, I because I was on this girls' team. Like I, I helped work with this girls' team. And I, it was so funny because the, the, I'm gonna have to pause in advance. Because <laughs> it's an advanced pause. <laughs> my, go because ahead. I said some shit as a joke. It was a joke. Now right? I'm hooked. So we were talking because it was basketball season. It was the it was like last season, right? And we were about to, you know, the Celtics were fine. And I was like, one of these girls was like, oh my God, Jason Tatum is so fine. He can have my babies. And I said, Shit, if that nigga team wins us a championship, that nigga can have my baby. Hey, yo! Right! Correct. It was a hey, joke. It was yo. a joke. But I'm thinking I'm in a safe space, right? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm a girls basketball team. I'm in a safe space. Yeah. You know how many of them bitches was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought we were. This the reason why I be shooting niggas, man. I thought this was a safe space. Like, nah, all the <laughs> girls, all the girls look like this. This the reason why I be shooting niggas, man. <laughs> That's how all the girls looked at you. I was like, damn. Who let, true. This, who let this nigga in here? Yeah, I was like, true. Well, you know what? Yeah. If I, you know what? I, I'll take it back. Yeah, I, I, all jokes aside, he wasn't like he was kind of the trainer. Like you were the trainer for them, right? You like just I was like right? a, I was a, a manager. It was like a manager. Them. So if you ever had like if you ever like played sports in high school, and shit, and yeah, like yeah, yeah, the cycle. So you can't have the same players on the court if they're both synced. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. 
I did a lot. I did a lot of laundry, they had, they had and I rec- a, they had this nigga logo washing out period blood from the uniform. <laughs> this nigga is. Sick. I wonder if they all get like if they all get synced up right and everybody. <laughs> Like everybody's on it. Can you y'all like, niggas? Can y'all reschedule the game, bro? I'm like I would, I would <laughs> want to. Right? Like I'm too oh, PC shit. for this podcast. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think I'm too PC for this. Oh, uh, we having fun today, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to joke. Hey, I'm here to joke and laugh about anything that comes up. I don't care anymore. All right. Oh man. Um. Moving on for oh, was that was that conversation? I don't want to. I don't want to. That's move fine. Yeah, we can yeah, segue. Segways on. perfectly. Excellent. Into I'm going to segue to more gay women, right? <laughs> Female apartment. Me and this nigga Logan. All right. First of all, round of applause, real quick. Oh wait, let me switch back to. Wait, me. wait. I want to know how this went from <laughs> gay women to <laughs> me and this nigga Logan. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to get us there. I'm going to. Can I? I'm, let me land the plane. Let me land the plane. <laughs> all right. So, audience, um, I've been coming on this podcast for weeks, maybe even months, telling y'all about how Logan never hangs out with me outside of the podcast. I am here to say that I have officially been invited out by Logan outside of the podcast. So, that deserves some air horns yes. and some rock. Wait, where is this going? I just right. realized. That. Right. Where are we going? <laughs> All right, listen, listen. Me and Logan went out uh, a couple weeks ago, man, and... Well, first we went to this pool bar. All right, yeah. we had a good time. You know, Lo- Logan was trying to show off doing the whole punching machine shit. <laughs> I um, won. Ugh. Well, he didn't go against me. He literally ran from the smoke. I posted. What? Video. I posted. If you watch it, well, go to my Instagram at Nigga, Bobby Comedian. We go tonight. Please go to my Instagram at Bobby Comedian, and you can see the video of Logan is the thumbnail. Right, the whole video he's going against our friend Oates. I literally said, "Oh, I got a couple dollars." When I said that and pulled it out my pocket, this nigga walked out of the bar. <laughs> you don't. You this- ran from the Smoke. This you avoids didn't all the entire pretext. You didn't want to lose. Where we were trying to meet one of our other friends at the beach bars. It was almost midnight, and we were like, "Bro, we gotta leave now." But this right. nigga Oates seen the punch machine. He said he wanted to do it, so I was like, "I'll do it with you. I'll pay for it." And I was like, "But after these two, I gotta go." Nah, he never. Said and that. this nigga wanted he to pull never, the dollar nah, out after nah. I said I had to leave. As soon as I had my money ready, no, he was like, "No, I'm scared." No. I'm, as soon I as I, no, no, no. I as soon as I had to leave, this nigga had to pull a dollar out. That's what it was. You didn't. Ha- all nah. Right. Hey, I'm just so saying. Y'all gonna run it back? We got. I'm down. Yes. We got video evidence. Nah, oh, wow. nah. Go fuck watch that. the video fuck that, nigga. on my page. Fuck that, nigga. Let's go run it tonight. All right. <laughs> run it tonight. I'm, I'm so dead you ass. You don't want to punch off with All right, me, bet, bet. You do not want to punch off, bet, Logan. Bet, bet. I'll right. pay for everyone. Bet. Say Let's less. run it. Say less. Bet. Bet. I ain't going to have no money after I buy this computer. Today. Okay, I'll buy. I'll pay. I'll pay for both rounds. <laughs> if you want to switch and buy the computer, I'll pay for the rounds. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, back to the gay women. So we get to the beach bars, right? And... going, bro. I know where this is going. What? Um, Just continue, bro. So listen, I, I, asked, I asked Logan if we had any topics. All right, he said no. He didn't have anything. Here. <laughs> so these are gonna be my topics. No. This is my topic. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted him to expose and start getting more personal with y'all, so we can make this podcast more personal. What? All right, go ahead, bro. So uh, yeah, um, we out at the beach bars. We having a good time. Uh, we get there a little early, you know. I mean, I don't know what time we got there. Like what, midnight ish, midnight ish, thirty? Yeah, because I was trying to leave, you know, for the punching machine. Somewhere around there, but you know, we out here on a mission, you know, trying to run a little two man, little three man. Our, our man Jamar was with us. He was, yeah, yeah. We was trying to. I was telling him, I was like, bro, you spot the play, and I, I'll set the pick. I'll do whatever we need to do. Man. By the way, all this was happening without my knowledge. By the way, I, I didn't know Logan was trying to mac at all. I thought we was there. I was, and I was really. Jamar was there to mac. I was there because the girls were gonna be there with a friend, right? The, the so, podcast mm-hmm. don't know that nigga. So I, so I so I was like, bro, you trying to Mac, but she got to, you know, I have to jump on a grenade. I got to get in the, I got to get in the yeah. war with he you. He said he'd fall on the ugly sword. You know what I mean? I'd fall on the ugly sword. To that. Too, so you're a real one for that. Off right, right. I ain't gonna lie. You're a real nigga for that. <laughs> right. You're real, every, every group gonna need that, though. You know, yeah, when you right. go out, one of y'all got, you know, you might got to you might entertain it. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I had to practice. She's for the, the one that's keeping everybody there. Yeah. As right. soon as she wants to go home, everybody's She's the yeah. bodyguard, yeah. you know. Yeah, I gotta, so now, we don't often go out in Jacksonville, right? No. But yeah. this is a newer thing as we were getting older, you know. And Logan's been in the gym feeling more sexy, so he's comfortable going out again now. <laughs> yes, uh, sir. So we're in the, in the, at facts. the beach bars, bro. We do a lap around, check out the women, check out the competition in the club. Then we go outside to this little area where you can see the line, but also it's like a little breathing room and shit like that. Oh. And we look in the line, bro. And Logan's ex-girlfriend is in oh. the fucking line. Oh, Lord, bro. And she's not alone. <laughs> oh, no. She's with her girlfriend. 
<laughs> oh shit! At this point, bro, I'm laughing so hard <laughs> because literally 30 minutes earlier, Logan said, "I hate coming to the beach bars. You always see somebody you know." And then literally <laughs> in the line, bro, I'm like, "Yo, bro, this is about to turn the fuck did, up." Did y'all did y'all speak? Or? No, I did spoke she, to her. Did she make eye contact? <laughs> she <laughs> she, she, she made eye contact. Why she speak? That nigga is an asshole. <laughs> Listen, wait, wait. So I gave Logan describe the setting for you because when when, when I got caught up to this nigga, I'm in comedy content mode. I'm like, oh, let's see what this happens. Is, this is meant to be. This, this gonna be in the pod, no matter how this night goes. He, it really nothing happened. Shout out to her for real, cause she's a real one, bro. She's, she's a real one. To the pod, she's a real one. I, res- I respect her, and, and I respect I respect you know. So I'm not gonna like. I don't know where the terms are wrong because it's been so long. So I, like, I wasn't gonna go out of my way to say nothing. So I was just like, whatever. Um, her girlfriend did size me up, though. Uh, I don't really appreciate that. I don't think I did anything d- deserving of being Yo, sized what type up. Of lesbian was she? If you don't mind, like was she like black black woman? Black woman. Black yeah, woman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't uh, appreciate black woman that. Button down. Sh- you know, like, like stud. Like a- I'm not gonna get into that because that some of that shit's disrespectful. I grew yeah. up with gay parents. Some of that. Some of the terminology is a little disrespectful, and That's I'm not. True. Like I said, I'm not. Disrespectful. You should be expert on the conversation, nigga. You should know which one's yes, a, yes, a stud. Yes, <laughs> yes, a stud. <laughs> Fine, yes. But that's not, but like I don't, I'm not trying to be offensive. Like you know what I'm saying? Because we're, it's it's real, we're talking show. real. It's a comedy show. We're, we're talking to real doing people. A comedy podcast. We're talking to real people. You're right, you're right. right. We're talking to real Either people. Way, it's like your real life. Audience, <laughs> I'm having the time of my life when this nigga Logan is going through the most emotions in the world, bro. <laughs> nigga, I got, I'm, I got bro. my drink, nigga. I'm like, I'm just watching the play. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just bro, this nigga was going through it, bro. I don't remember. I think I said that. And then I held an item on composure though. Yeah, and that was at the line. That was before they even got in the club. We were in the club. We saw them in the line. (laughs) The night ain't even really started yet, (laughs) bro. (laughs) At all. So no. Like like 20 minutes later or so, we, me, Logan, our boy Jamar, like, yo, let's go do a lap. All right, you got to go do a lap. Like that that was the thing. You got to do a lap. You got to do a lap every now and then to Mm -hmm. see what the scenery changes is. You know, it's like sometimes ugly girls be in the middle of the floor, but you got to wait till the next lap. Then they move, rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then sometimes like the niggas. He's not the same women I saw 15 minutes ago. (laughs) Honestly, it really is like that though. The turnover rate was crazy. Oh yeah, like it was pretty crazy at the beach bars. Definitely, that was like this. My first time at the beach bars in probably like months, bro. I really mm. never go. You go to Riverside, like you go to Silent Disco or whatever, like it's the same people the whole night. Yeah. Like, you know, okay. it's My, like, yeah. But I will say, bro, it was some, it was some very good looking woman out there at the beach bar. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm talking titties galore, bro. Just like, oh, definitely. Bro, there was a lady with like a triple Z bar. Uh, so, what was that? Uh, I don't know what the size is. <laughs> what? Bro. Just, bro, bro, just, it was ridiculous, like, bro. bro. It was just, ridiculous. Well, can we just, I just want one question go bro, ahead. for Logan, bro. Like, did, did you already know like she played for both teams like we all like I, I know it was a long time ago like did, would it have hurt more <laughs> to see I don't want to get <laughs> it, if it had been a man I just wonder like no cause, like, okay because this, this is, is some the greatest shit, podcast this is, in the world this is some shit that like I really hope she doesn't hear this shit bro <laughs> you I know she probably would anytime at, at this point right like it's not yeah. it's not really fucked up because she's like it's moved on. She's she has a whole. Life not even outside. for me, but like for her in terms of her like growth. Like yeah. she's, we're talking she's about. Out. We're talking about right. high school shit. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's out. Right. Yeah. So, okay. so me saying okay. So when we when we talk right, there was actually there was actually um, multiple similar women at our school that were interested in her. Right. And uh, and Logan was the only guy. And I and right and so <laughs> in, in the race. But she also right. Like, maybe not only guy. But no, no, no. the best chance. But here, so here, but but here's the thing: was I was like, they trying to slide on you, and she was like, no, no way. They don't. They would never. They know I'm. They, they know. I'm, they know I'm not like that. They know I'm not. Fine girls always do that, bro. When you tell a girl somebody likes it, like what? No. They're like they never. Oh. They, they know I'm not. They know I'm not like that. Like we're just really good friends. I'm like okay, for sure. <laughs> for sure. They know something. Maybe they know something you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and um. Yeah, they did. In fact, uh, I don't yeah. know if they knew something she didn't know or if she wasn't. I don't know. That that's not yeah. no, none of my business. But, but anyway, anyways, at yes. the bars, we do our second lap, and they're inside <laughs> the club. So we're on the dance oh, yeah, floor. They're inside the club. All right, night. we're on the dance floor. I forget who. I don't, was I? I'm already sweating. Oh, yeah. We're on the. I was in front. I'm in the middle. So it's me. <laughs> no, I'm in the Logan, back. Logan, I'm in the back. No, Jamar's were, in the middle. This is no, this is the time that you were behind me. That I, I was okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I got the times mixed up with the laps. We ran like seven. We ran. We ran multiple. We ran like a mile in that motherfucker. Yeah. We ran a mile on that bitch, at least. Dead ass. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, so when I, when, when I was leading the lap, 
I'm like, all right, let's go to the dance floor. And at first, we were, like, standing on the outskirts. But I'm like, all right, let's, let's make our way through. Let's see who's out here. Let's see what's going on. Like, if a girl or, like, someone, like, if somebody, somebody thinks you're interested, they'll stop and talk to you. Okay. Like, like, there were, like, girls who were, like, Stop to talk to Logan. Like, oh, like, what's, real quick, stop to ask me who I am briefly. Ask Jamar. Oh, what's I up, what are you with? I didn't have that, but continue. All right. Uh, actually, I'm lying. Logan has some niggas looking at him. <laughs> but that, that was, I was going to save that for the end of the night. Now, that's, look at his face, because that's a true story. There was two niggas, there was two niggas looking their chops when they saw this nigga Logan, bro. Bro, I, no bullshit. No bullshit. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So we're on the dance floor. I'm leading the break. I'm cutting through the crowd. And there's a pole to the right. And right there, I see. The I see said girl that we're talking about, and Logan's like immediately behind me, and I, I was like, oh, "Go to Whaley, turn around, turn around." I don't want you. Know, I don't, you don't got to see this. We're not ready. Like what we didn't plan what we were gonna say if we actually got to. I would have been like, <laughs> yeah. and then I would have puked on the fucking floor. Yeah, this wasn't expected. <laughs> so I'm having a good time, but I'm also not trying to be an asshole. But I'm just laughing, bro. So I saw her after they. I was like, "Oh, hey, how you doing? Good to see you." Because we're good friends, you know. Like she's she's real she's real supportive. Like especially like now she's supportive of the pod. And all this shit She's cool Really cool people yeah, but definitely. Literally if anyone meets her You're gonna love this girl Because she's amazing But um Nah man I just thought this whole shit Was funny as hell Because literally Before the night even started This man Logan was like I just don't wanna run into anybody I know out here and <laughs> it, it was like it was pl- Like he knew I, oh, and That's the thing about That's the and, thing Is like I know sh- I be yeah. swear to god I know shit like, And I wasn't even gonna go I'm glad that I ended up Going out I was That's when I made that post But I, I don't belong here But the shit we do For FOMO <laughs> we <were> missing out <laughs> Nigga I'm so happy That I didn't leave After that After the pool bar Because I would've Missed all of this that, I told this nigga tomorrow, I was like, bro, I was like, bro, she's right there. And that nigga was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dog. Bro, but listen, man, this was the greatest. This is one of the greatest times I've ever had. Uh, me and Logan, though, that's in my memory forever. Now, this, we stayed there until closing time. This is when the niggas came along. All right, it was, it, was, it, was two, it was two gay niggas dressed great as fuck. Like, they, these yeah. niggas had on, they had that shit they on. They was fitted, bro, and that's the thing. They had that Cause shit nigga, on. Because I, because first off, one of their friends was with them. She, not, ba- not bad in the slightest, which this is the thing oh, that happened. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. I have, girl. I, women do come up and yeah. talk to me, but they I, they're never, yeah. It's never like a woman yes. that I'm interested in. So, so it, was like, two, it was two. It was two gay guys, and they had a big girl with them who was like their friend. Is that the girl you talking about? Yes. All right. Yeah. So the big girl, when well, we were standing <laughs> by the bar, and the big girl walks up like to our group, and Logan standing on the bar. And she goes, the first thing she question. She didn't even ask the nigga, "Hey, how you doing? What's your name?" She said, "Do you have a girlfriend?" Off rip. That nigga said, "No, I don't." Me and this nigga Jamal looked at each other and was like. All right, we can walk out. We can go. We can let you do your thing. <laughs> we can let you do your thing. No, I literally said. I literally said. <laughs> nah, bro. So I'm so sorry. Bro. Like, with all, with all due respect. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm but sure. Then, but then I, me and Jamar look out, the, like look behind the corner. Of eye. It was one nigga who had on like all white. He had like an all white, like like Hillary Clinton suit Ooh. on with like some earrings, jewelry. The nigga was looking good, yeah. but he had one of them Hillary Clinton plant pants suits on. <laughs> but it, it was it was like black and gayified. Like, oh, okay. you know yeah, how they, they make this it was, shit. It was, it was, like, it was yeah. bedazzled. They gasified it was, it was like, that shit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, they gasified that shit. I said gayified. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga for to get but canceled. Nah, but nah, that nigga looked at Logan. I, I saw him look at Logan, and then I saw him lick his lips and look up no and down. Way. I swear, I didn't bro. see none of that because I t- I totally turned completely bro. away from the old girl. I was like, ah, fuck that, no. That was the one. Nigga. That was another nigga who had like a green emerald ass, like green. It looked look like it looked like one of them. Like you ever go to like a granny house and and the type of uh, blanket that she'll have over the couch. Tree on the couch. The, yeah, the, the type of, it, it looked like one of those. But once again, it was yassified. It was. It was yassified. <laughs> Had that shit on, but it looked it reminded, it reminded me of a grandma couch. Oh. But still. he had like the one dangly one, like earring, like yeah, one the, earring was nigga dangly. Had the, nigga had the, the Dragon Ball Z earring, the yeah. oh, oh. earrings on, yeah. The other nigga, and these I niggas, didn't see bro, neither one I of them. These niggas were jocking Logan so hard, bro. Like they were trying to set up a play, like from across the room. Niggas, niggas, niggas was tripping, bro. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, I'd be like, respectful. I was like, I, I'm the type of nigga where I'd be like, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. And then I'm, oh, bro, I appreciate you, bro. You will turn to go talk to you, and then by the time you look back, nigga, I am n- not there anymore. I have yeah. left. I already Listen, understand. When I tell you, this is probably one of the best outings I've had with our friend group <laughs> bro, he, ever. He could have scored some free drinks out on He had, bro. He bro he, honestly, I never thought of it like I don't drink like that, so I never really thought of it that way. You not, you know, I done gone out before and like. Nah, you were double fisting at the bar. <laughs> I had two beers, and that was the thing. So I had two beers, and beers they be fucking my stomach up, and that's when we saw them walk up from outside and I was like oh 
My stomach. Oh, hurts. so it was, it was the stomach <laughs> and the nerves. That, oh, damn. I was nervous. Speak, but it's funny too because I saw her again at the gym two days later. Yeah. Ugh. And I had never, like, and that was after not seeing her in person in years, like actual to years. See you back to back like that. So it was bro. weird. I was like, uh, so you can come up and say what's up. You want to say what's up? Did you go say what's up? No, because I I I'm the type of nigga where I'd like I in my head like I feel like it's just wrong to do. You haven't talked to her in years. Why start now? Right, exactly. Even though I'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to be like, hey, what's up? You know, but, but you look very happy with what you got I don't going know, on. Though. From the way you were talking, I think your girlfriend might be opposed. To you <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> exactly. And that's why, out of respect, I would never I would never go out of my way to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, all respect. It's all respect. It's, it has nothing to do with person personality. Honestly, or that. bro, it's all like, girl, she sized me up, bro. At the bar, I, I, her girl definitely looked like she was gonna swing. She was gonna try I to fuck, swing I on me. I fuck heavy with like LGBTQ, but like I got like a soft spot. I got like a little sore spot when like a girl starts out with guys and then she goes to like boys, bro. Just because like the trans, like I feel like girls have have the whole like intimacy thing cracked bro like it's like it's a cheat code for them bro and like you can't connect with a woman the same way a woman could connect with a woman bro so it's like you just you're you're automatically losing bro there's no way to de- fight that battle bro because yeah. she's got like everything on her side like I don't know, you just gotta work with what you got you know what i mean your little willy whatever you got down there bro <laughs> no, but like she willy got bro crazy. she's got Call choices willy is crazy. <laughs> 2023 <laughs> nigga when a woman opens up her heart to like love another woman bro she got so many choices bro. yeah but respectfully so you can, we but can listen. test it oh, <laughs> hey. i'm just playing i'm nah, so serious i'm, I'm just, so I'm, just <laughs> serious. I'm just serious i'm just serious but just I'm, being serious. Like, you know, I'm trying to be listen, as respectful as that, i can be, all of that was respectful comedic sauce comedic content we love all the women involved yes um it was a great night it was an eventful night we got to do more stuff like that it sounded fun bro. i'm about i still got two more weeks here so i got two more weekends we can go out yeah one yeah we got some good pod content out of it. i told you you got to start hanging out Bro, we had a good we had a good time. But yes. you know what? When I asked for topics, that nigga didn't say none of that. What? That <laughs> nigga, I don't want to talk about that, bro. <laughs> that shit was tra- traumatic, nigga. <laughs> that that shit was entertaining. That yeah, to life. you, a real life. I had oh, I had that bit scared, nigga. I was yeah. afraid. Uh, let's. Oh, we, we we can stay on the topic of love. All right, my new uh, my new favorite thing to watch, bro. Uh, I love watching these new fucking failed kiss cams, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, nigga. There was a nigga who I saw on Twitter, bro, and he leaned in for a kiss cam, and Shorty gave him the Floyd Mayweather shoulder shoulder roll to block that shit. Oh, my God. That was terrible, bro. I was like, mostly these? staged? I have no idea. I have no idea, but that's one of my biggest fears, nigga. A failed kiss cam. But I, I don't know. What, what do y'all think? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Failed kiss cam. I see, bro. Like this? Yeah, 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 when, when, like, when, when, when you at a sporting event and they, they put the camera, yeah, they put you on the big camera tron or some shit, and then you next to the person, you got you to gotta give them a little smooch, a little, you know, a little, Wah. I don't know how you kiss. I don't know how oh, light skin niggas kiss. It's probably, <laughs> Wah. Uh, is, that, is that how light skin niggas sound when they kiss? <laughs> 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 what the fuck, bro? Uh, hey, how do y'all Niggas sound? picking on me. I'm not fucking. What do you want me to do? Fucking make out with the microphone? If, I don't know. If that's what y'all. Ooh, you, get, you getting ready for something? <laughs> light, skin, light skin niggas kiss like they eat no meal. <laughs> This nigga is hating on me because I came oh, up with because I because this nigga don't want to talk about the Celtics, bro. And now uh, it's all of a sudden we can talk about them sorry ass niggas in the sports segment nah, of the podcast. Nah, oh. see, that, can, bro, that's got to be like the most. Embarrassing thing ever. Yeah, right? see, thank you. That's what I was trying to, bro. That is my one of my new biggest fears. I'll leave bro. that shit. I'll leave. Bro, right, I'm leave. going home. I don't want to leave. Finish leave the game, I'll leave. I'll leave so fast. <laughs> if, if I'm the ride, if I'm the ride, I'm definitely leaving. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, yeah. Gotta get you an Uber. Gotta get you an Uber. You better call that mascot, bitch. You go <laughs> get on that nigga little tricycle, whatever they be riding. You better get backstage, bitch, because you ain't getting a ride up here. <laughs> Oh Sad part is that could probably it probably worked that way too. Bro, I saw so bro, I li- after I saw that video on my Twitter, bro, I just went through a hole of just failed kiss cam videos. Please, if you ever want some entertainment, bro, or to feel better about yourself, just watch these niggas, bro. Oh damn, nigga, bro, grab like, the this fuck nigga out grabbed of her, her head. whole face. Oh, oh, she slapped his ass. Oh fuck, she. <laughs> he, he pointed, <laughs> on the bro. Jump, he, 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 he,
<laughs> yes. Let that be an excuse. Like, oh my. What, so what are y'all doing in the moment? All right, what are y'all doing in that moment? You say you go to a game by yourself and they put you on a kiss cam with somebody who you might not know. You go, what are you, are you, you, you shooting your shot? I or mean, what? if I mean if Shotty's down, I'm down. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. What am I gonna be like? If I mean, unless it's no. Nah, I mean, nah, even is that, is that something you have? Is that something you talk about before? Like you take a girl on an NBA date or some shit? Like you got if you, you take a girl on an NBA date and y'all are on kiss cam, then y'all are gonna kiss. Yeah. Kiss okay. Okay. If it's a stranger. Yeah. This nigga right here kissed that girl and then moved his arm around like he was cheating. Like he wasn't supposed to do that <laughs> He's shit. He's like, wait. Yeah, I don't God. know you at all. But nah, <laughs> man. Uh, I think I'm going to try one someday. You know, uh, I'll try it someday. You said it's set up. What, what we got the Jacksonville Giants. The niggas still be playing? Uh, the basketball team. <laughs> what are they called? Jacksonville Giants. Yeah. It's the Giants. I, I think they're still around. Yeah. Yeah, they be doing kiss cams over there. It's at the Veterans Arena, bro. You never been to a game? Never been to a game. Wow. Bro. I've never I'm been to a game. Bro, that, they bro. used to give away to nigga like when Jaguars ticket. I was in the honor roll seats getting Jaguars tickets. Nigga, the Giants were doing the same thing, bro. The That's same raw. thing. I need to go. I know niggas that work for the Giants. Nigga, the Jacksonville Giants was putting uh, Giants tickets in Win Dixie shopping bags. <laughs> 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 that shit was free. That's hard. Bro. bro, oh man, they I don't know, bro. I, don't, I I couldn't. I yeah, I think I'd have to like. How do you even recover man. from that if the whole world sees you, you don't rejected off a kiss cam? You literally leave. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I feel like it, maybe your game recovers, but that just got to make you feel ugly, right? Like, yeah. you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> like, I'm so serious, bro. I would get up on camera. I would leave on camera. <laughs> I would be caught on camera. Like, then you got to sit. What you gonna sit the rest of the game next yeah. to her, bro? Everybody be looking at you. <laughs> she not. She refuses to look to your side of the game, bro. Nah. <laughs> Every time. You like, so why ain't you kiss me on the kiss cam? You gonna sit in the car? Yeah, that car ride That's old. why you gotta leave. You be in that bitch. That car ride home, bro. <laughs> So why you ain't kiss me on the kid? I just don't think I was ready for everybody to see everybody our relationship. Was, oh, so my breath smell like shit, huh? You think that's what you think? You think I'm an ugly nigga, huh? <laughs> that nigga would be walking around Jacksonville or whatever city and just be known. I'm not good enough for the kiss cam, huh? <laughs> you over there, bitch. LeBron, LeBron. You, you, I'm not good enough for the kiss cam. Now you know as the unkissable nigga around right. town. I'm around a stank breath nasty nigga on camera. <laughs> caught on tape from like Bigfoot oh, or some shit. shit being gross. Honestly, though, if the beach bars had a kiss cam... Like bro, like what bars? Uh, bars had kiss cams now. Niggas is getting herpes. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> you said niggas is getting herpes. Everyone's getting so herpes. You get herpes. So you saying women bro. women have herpes? Is what you're saying? I'm saying I'm anybody can be a nigga. Is that what you told me before this? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you told me before we hit record? I did. I did. We were talking about Ron DeSantis and what, and I said anybody can be a nigga. Yeah, you're talking about Nipsey Hustle. Oh, R.P. Nip, man. R.P. Nip. Nip for sure. Oh man, fellas, what do y'all got, man? What do y'all got? Balls in the air. Who wants to talk about something? Y'all go on, but y'all heard about y'all heard about. This whole Zion uh, Williamson Mariah Mills situation. I've been hearing about it. Then we talked. We talked about it a couple times, but it probably but did you hear about, about the new development? No, there's a new development. The new development, yes, is that she came on the internet like two, three days ago and said that Zion Williamson is a, an abusive boyfriend mm. and physically assaults her, and that she was taking payment as hush money for his endorsements. He was okay. paid, getting paid monthly. Yeah, and that she's now done, and that no amount of money. So now she, that, that's why she's going justice. out with it. Like, so she don't got to be quiet anymore. Or yeah. So this is the, yeah. So this is the, where she went. Um, this is where the news. And how do you feel is. about this? What, 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 may, what, what, why was this on your heart? So for one, I would say that if this is true, um, she, they, she needs to get help. Zion needs to be brought to justice. First of all, I think she needs help anyway. Correct. She's she been does. going on Twitter already all for like ranting. two months. You if, First, you are obsessed with this nigga. You get this na nigga's name tatted on your face, or whether that's true or not. I don't know. Queen shit, though. I respect um, that. Shout out get, to all the ladies. I'm trying to get a girl. You're begging, this nigga, to, you're begging <laughs> this nigga to take you nah, back on Twitter bro, for I'm days. Be but, fired. but apparently this nigga hits you. I mean, they say, they say that that type shit, you know, people get Stockholm Syndrome, whatever. You know, if she, that's what she's going through, whatever. But I just, I can't imagine as a nigga, even, my, at my size, getting hit by Zion Williamson, a size nigga, at any way, it, at all. Like, imagine a Zion Williamson size nigga raising his hand to you mm -hmm. and hitting you upside the face. I'm eating that shit, and I'm going to knock him out. What the fuck? I'm knocking that nigga. I'm knocking Zion out. Who give a nigga? Do you know who I am? I'm scared to Dog, go. Dog, Zion, try that shit with me, nigga. Zion, imagine a try nigga like imagine me. a nigga like me and Romy 
put together. <laughs> <laughs> Combined. I'm, I'm watching we, we, y'all. We, we put the fucking dragon, the Potara earrings on, the nigga. Dragon. We make. The diffusion dance. <laughs> we, we make Lomi on a nigga. <laughs> fucking talking about. And, and we hit you, nigga. That's uh, Zion. Nigga. Uh, that, uh, that's Zion. Son. Nah, bro. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think I could be Zion in a fight. <laughs> I, I can tell by that nigga text messages, bro. He not like that. He he he's soft inside too. Bro, nigga, you complained about me not texting you back. How you gonna <laughs> How you gonna fuck? No we're trying to do business together and make millions of dollars from this podcast. <laughs> Any business related text message I have replied to. Nah. I'll, t- I'll text this nigga. Talk, you want to talk about business? Bro, what? Zion Williams, 6'6", six, six, bro, 284. <laughs> you bro. getting smashed, bro. bro. You getting crushed, bro. bro. Like, no That's chance. a big nigga, bro. bro that is a huge, huge nigga. 6'6", <laughs> 280. Bro. That is a big That's, that's two, two of you bro. You are like 140 soaking wet First of all Don't be, don't be thinking about me wet nigga. Don't, be, don't, be, don't be thinking about What I look like wet Come on now <laughs> Bro I'm telling you bro You sleep on me I might, I might present as a, as a small skinny stature You know what I mean But Zion I'm washing this nigga If I ever see Zion on the street I promise you Put me and Zion in that slap contest. What was it? What Dana White? The slap league. <laughs> you, get one, nigga. you get one slap, bro. And, and, if I get to go first, I'm knocking this nigga out, bro. bro I'm paying money to see that. <laughs> you are getting folded. Bro, actually, don't you might y'all. Actually, get folded. No, like, like, literally, literally, bro. Bro. like he's gonna connect. <laughs> Y'all folks are my friends, and you on this nigga's side. You literally bro, as might a friend, get voted as horizontally. A friend, I'm trying to be supportive and honest with you, bro. <laughs> bro. I don't want to be delusional in this moment. That's not what a friend would do. A friend would hype me up. Nah, nah, a friend, nah, a friend nah, nah, bro. That's how you hype someone off the bridge, bro. That's how you, get, you be like, yeah, bro, you can make that jump. I know damn well you can't, bro. Yeah. I know. I'm bro. not going to pretend. All right. All right. Give me, like, <laughs> six weeks of training. Six weeks of training <laughs> on some Batman shit. You know how Batman be getting his ass whooped by every all the villains, and yeah. then he go train. Go train. That nigga go come back, and he why I'm, I'm Batman. Nigga, you're not a shonen manga, bro. That's not, that's not how that works, bro. Bro, bro. You can't just start doing push ups and suddenly you knock yeah, a nigga out. Bro. <laughs> you're getting folded. All right, bro. But, but it's crying like though. an egg for you get folded like an omelet, nigga. That would literally be you. And then when the nigga said Jager, and nigga yeah, went sideways, that bro. would be you. Oh shit! If it is true, that's wild. That baby's getting beat up by a dude ten years younger than her. He's only like twenty two, and she's like thirty two. Yeah, she bro. in her thirties. That's so sad, bro. <laughs> that's so that makes me like, oh my yeah, god. If that's bro. true. If it's, very, if it's she true, should have more years of fighting experience. She than should, that nigga bro. Too. Like, how you let th- a, a young bro? bro. That's a, a child, bro. <laughs> Essentially twenty two. Yeah, but that nigga big as hell though. Bro, how you how you let him hit you go away? I I don't know, honestly, I don't think that. If, if, if that was true, I don't know. And we don't know. It's all out. We it's don't know. It's all speculation. But, nigga, she's been talking about Zion for like three months. Why is this the report now that's coming out? Right. Why, I, why wasn't this on front? Like She led with, I can't believe you had a baby on me. But she didn't lead with any other, oh, he's a beauty type shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just. I but we'll see. We will see. We'll Logan, get, that was Logan's topic. I also so Logan's going to see. I, and I, also saw, to I also saw Zion uh, posted uh, su- the Suicidal Thought song by uh, Biggie on his story after that bit. Yeah? Yeah. I thought, what, what, how does Unless it go? I was, I went, he's like, when I die, fuck it, I want to go to hell. Oh, shit. I thought you were about to say that. Because I'm posted. a piece of shit. It ain't hard to uh, fucking tell. I thought you were about to say he posted a suicide hotline by, by Logic, nigga. I, uh, I, I was about to say that nigga. <laughs> nah, he, put, he, he posted the end of the song, too, when he kills himself and Diddy's like, hey, yo, big. Yeah. Big! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah that's it. But All yeah. right, well, listen, Zion, get some help, nigga. Please, dude. Mariah, get a lawyer. Get some help, lady. and also like Mariah, connect if you want to do that slap psychiatrist. We'll say if that. You, in you're trying to connect with Bobby, see see if his uh, claims. Oh, after I'm knocking that nigga. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> <new orders. I'm laughs> I hope new Zion orders. Williamson gets his hands on this shit. Honestly, bro, if Bobby wins, turn like that's the hey, the oh, bets yeah. against him are gonna be crazy. You yeah, be a millionaire, oh, bro. But honestly, I think I think I think we're being real. I think everybody listening to the podcast is smart and putting their money on me. Y'all were the only niggas who were voting that Zion would win. Everybody who who know how business and money should move. I'm not putting money on Zion because if I put money on Zion, I'm losing money. 
Even if he, if he wins, so I'm still probably me. losing money. I would bet on you, yes, because right, I would lose. I would stand to lose nothing. Mm. <laughs> I bet like fifty bucks on you, and I could make like wow. three million bucks. Yeah, bro, like, I would like make so money. I make. I'll make sure you win then, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Get you on that. What is that? What is that juice, bro? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> You'll figure it out, bro. Get on a cycle of trend, bro. Yeah, I'll get you bro. on steroids. We will get you six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas, man. Get you right, my guy. All right, fellas, what else we got? What else is going on in the world? All right, oh, um, I know we've seen, uh, I sent this to y'all, fucking uh, uh, Kamala Harris was doing a, a press conference. By the way, I think we found out where those drugs in the White House were going <laughs> into Kamala's nose. Right there, all, <laughs> off, off rip. Uh, she's doing a press conference, and uh, she let some words slip. <laughs> I'll, play, uh, I'll play the clip from y'all. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, mm. more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. And everybody started clapping. Did y'all catch it? Am I the only one who heard that? Should I play that again for the people? Should I play it one more time for the audience? Or what, what we Go ahead. All right, let's breathe go. clean hold air. Up, hold up. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population. That's the one right there. Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, she's kind of Kamala spitting. Harris. Just she, uh, so the uh, United States is she reducing lie? population. Is, that's <laughs> how, what I heard. How intentionally? <laughs> nigga, how COVID. Loud. That could have been the, the population reduction, bro. These, uh, nigga, they spent seventeen years in Afghanistan. Nigga, they were reducing the population somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, bro. The U.S. is known for reducing the population of other places That's all, some scary all over shit, the world. Bro. Now she's finally saying it at a press conference, letting that shit slip. You know they tore her ass up when she got off stage. Tell her. T- hey, man, listen. All I'm saying is she's not lying. If we had like half as what many What do you niggas, know, nigga? Tell, tell us. Tell, you, tell did tell you watch people. Infinity War, nigga? Oh. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, bro. bro. Come on now. So you're saying, you saying the government is stand up. I'm saying that Joe Biden got the Infinity Gauntlet, nigga. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, that old ass nigga with the Infinity Gauntlet. Say, be prepared for my Biden blast. And then snap <laughs> everyone gone. Everybody going to be out of the Oh, my hard. God, Respect. bro. I think she meant to say pollution. Yeah. Jamar had the hottest, the, the best take. We don't know that nigga. They do know that nigga. He's been on here. Oh, they fucking. We don't even have the episode of anyway. This, the uh, audio. But our our friend Jamar had the hottest take. Uh, you, we talk about this nigga on almost like I think we talk about this thing on forty percent of the episodes. Not even. But nigga, keep going. Doesn't no matter. way. Anyway, we're not gonna pod about the pod. He had the, he had the best take where he, it was like terrible optics. But I think she meant to say pollution makes a lot of sense if we talk about it in the context of what she's saying. But she but said population. Reduction. Either way, and that shit. She's spitting facts. I okay? was saying how she felt. Inside, yep. bro. It was supposed to be pollution, but hard. Nah, I, I, there was a bro. show that I used to love on. It's on. I think it's on Netflix. It's called The One Hundred, and literally, it's about like kids getting sent to the ground. Like, like there's radiation on Earth. Everyone goes to live in space and all this shit, and then they send a hundred of the kids to the ground to try and see if it's survivable because the space is like the spaceship, the Ark or whatever, is running out of oxygen for everybody. And they literally started talking about population reduction because they couldn't communicate with the kids on the ground, and they like three hundred people volunteered to be populationally reduced or whatever and and died and then they found out the next day that the the kids were alive so everybody was pissed (laughs) that they could have went back to the ground and i literally watched that episode right before i saw that video of kamala talking about population reduction that's hard and that's why that shit tripped me the fuck out Listen, so she was spitting uh, facts. Listen, all listen. Saying. All I'm saying is, uh, uh, I'm gonna look at the next ballot when I see. It. If I don't see population reduction, I know they hide something. <laughs> okay, but all right. I'm a, I, that's my that's gonna be my campaign running, bro. So you're gonna re, you're gonna run to reduce the population? <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna run against reducing the population. So you are gonna try to raise the population? Yeah, you yeah. try to bring more niggas in here. You gonna be your Nick Cannon shit? Honestly, I think that might be a route I have to go. Nick Cannon that might be might be a route I have to go. They might have to remake the movie Enemy of the State with Nick Cannon, <laughs> and where he's just out or here, Logan, bro, you just do it. fucking no. You are, you know you, you don't got big and sexy you, now, you don't bro. Know you, me, can, you know me, bro. I don't get no bitches. I, I'm a, I'm out here. You don't bro, get no bitches. I hate when you, you say that. Act, long, no, 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 here we go. I'm glad say, he said that. I can't. Here we go. He literally does it because he actively does everything to fuck it up on purpose. <laughs> no, Logan, I don't. Logan literally had a bag. Like there was a, a, a young lady who watched our podcast. <laughs> I might know her, you know. I, I hit her up on, you know, she hit me up with, yo, who's your man? So I was in my man, yada, yada, yah. That nigga, that nigga won best producer under 25 in the United States. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you were a I, 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 I told her, I told the nigga used to be a bodybuilder. He won, he won uh, best bodybuilder Putting in high it on, putting it like, on for the kids, he bro. Do, he didn't do none of that. Nah, she was a nice, pretty, fine girl, yo. I, I hit the group chat. I said, yo, 
I got a shorty who wants to fuck with you, Logan. <laughs> I literally said in our group chat, right? All the dudes respond. Logan's the last nigga to say something, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> Already, no sense of urgency. Right there. That's why right. bitches be losing that's, interest. No sense of urgency. It was niggas one. like, I ain't got no hoes, bro. They ain't got no urgency for bro. the hoes. So, <laughs> so, moving forward, the conversation, we all talking. I'm, I'm telling them about the girl because she's a really funny, nice lady, bro. And then uh, Logan's like, at name. I was like, all right, bet. Say less. I send the at name in the group chat. All the niggas. Yeah, you need to slide on that, Logan. Go ahead. Give it a chance, Logan. Fuck with it, Logan. You know what Logan says to me? What do you say? Bro? Doesn't respond. <gasps> Right, right. Crickets, <gasps> ab straight fucking crickets in the group chat. You know what? You know what I see this nigga Logan doing like an hour later in the Discord playing video games, nigga. Bro. So I know he saw the text. Cap, bro. I know he saw I the text, stand, bro. Like pause, bro. But I can't stand when like handsome niggas be talking about. <laughs> bro. bro, I can't get no women, bro. Bro, bro. Listen, bro it's you. It's listen, I've, I've, watched, I've watched men throw themselves at the same girl over and over when we go hang out at work or whatever all the time, bro. <laughs> that, but that's the thing. And this girl saw him. Trying and said, oh, he's fine. Let me slide. Let me do a little bit. Put me on. <laughs> that never happens. Never, bro. I could have been on some slimy shit on some bitch. I wanted you to slide on me. <laughs> but nah, I was going to get you up his. <laughs> and he left it on open, had me looking like stupid. You, like you know my name on the show, baby. Yeah. Like, what's Got good? me looking. Yeah, that ass. Well, I could have. You for, watching my show talking for, about the, my, the boy? <laughs> To be but fair, listen, what? But listen, I, that's the thing. Though. I ain't mad at that because when he fuck, I feel like I fucked. You know? We, no, I get that. We I feel that. Yeah, just like, I get just that. like them girls on the basketball team was singing. <laughs> no, I get that. Logan to sing Because like honestly, from the sounds of it, bro, you have the game, bro. Bro, you have to, bro. So it's like shit. At least I know it works for somebody. You listen, know, you know how, how ironic that a nigga who played and coached basketball can't catch a lob. <laughs> Come on now. Now you're potting, Bobby. Now you're potting, Bobby. Now we potting. That was nice. That was nice. Wasn't it? Oh, nice. That was good, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't really know what, what to do you say. have to say for yourself. You in homie court right now. This, so, is, this is pod homie court. So, Audience, listen. All, all the times that we hear Logan say he don't get no girl, people don't want that, yada, yada, yada. I don't. And literally, over the last week, one at? of the baddest cow, females, bro. Cow, bro. Where they at? Literally, literally cow, wanted bro. to <laughs> throw herself on a plate. Threw herself on a, on, a, on, a, on a plate for this nigga. And that nigga was like, nah, I'm not hungry right now. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that nigga said, uh, this, this food is cold. <laughs> cook, it, cook it up, please. I asked for medium well. So I what, what was your reasons, bro? What was your... You got well, <laughs> I'll get into... I, I don't want to get into too much detail, but basically... It's a nice lady, for sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, I'm not... It's, it's, I, I sometimes say this thing where it's like, people are not my type, but I realistically think... I had this revelation... It's not really a revelation. I know this about myself. I'm not other people's type. I'm really not. If that, that makes any sense. That's why you didn't respond? Yes. To a girl who literally said, he's fine as fuck. Put yeah, me yeah but that like, but that's just me. as That's just how I look. That's not like who I, I am as a person. Her, she asked me about you. I just told you. Yeah, but what, you, what did you actually say? Because all the shit you said is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said is not true. So if you told her all that shit. I mean, aspirations, bro. We think we talking in the future you, bro. That's bro. all we was I just, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know I'm not other people's type because I'm type of nigga like, like you said, like you said, I'm not, I, I'm a type of nigga. You tell me some news like that, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna be like, oh for sure. Are you your type? Bet. Let me am, answer that. Am, am I my type? type? Yeah. yeah. Would you smash me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What did you think I was gonna say? No. No. I just wanted to ask that question. <laughs> That's a, I didn't have no, I just wanted to ask the question. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm the type, I, I'm like. I, I just make that the seven second clip of the podcast. And, and I don't explain nothing else. I'm not going to explain nothing else. <laughs> That'd be funny. Are you your type? Would you smash you? All right, man, say less. I'm <laughs> saying, but I'm not, I, like, I'm not other people's side. I know, like, I oh, do do bro. shit to actively fuck shit up, and I'm not going to go out of my way. Like, that's just how I am. So when you say you're not other people's type, you mean you as, like, a person. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, not as, as how I look. Okay. Not as how I look. I'm not, it's not, because I don't give really, I don't really somebody that like i don't get too hung up on how you look like i don't really give a fuck about how you look as long as you're not like ugly which a lot of, a lot of people aren't just ugly like there's yeah. most i feel like there's more people that are just average looking and good looking to then that are just ugly you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. like unfuck with the bull you know what i'm saying you want to look how many people are ugly in the world let's let's uh i'm looking <laughs> let's take it from the google <laughs> big google bro well, my, but, i'm fucking so around it has nothing to do with how you look it has nothing to do with how yeah. i look it's just how it has everything to do with how i vibe, am though. That's why. That's the only reason I brought it back. To the, if, if it was, if it was on some shit that I didn't think you would vibe with, I wouldn't have even brought it back to the chat. But because I thought, you know, whatever, we can move on. But I just want, you know, homie court on the pod. No, that's, I'm being so dead ass with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I very, I've seldom met 
people that Use another I, word. That I what? Use another word. I've rarely met there we people go. There we go. <laughs> that like I really like connect with to a point where like I want to talk to you. Like, not even just how you look. Like, like obviously I, I've been with girls that I've been with girls that were fine as hell mm. that I didn't I didn't vibe with and it didn't go anywhere. It'd be like, but that's the game, nigga. That you you can't. Uh, I, I think I think like we can't avoid that. Like that's gonna come. Nah, so yeah. that you know what you want later on, bro. Yeah. And you're talking to the nigga who li- I haven't been in a relationship in like probably seven years now. Like, I don't know shit about this, but I mean, you, you still learn what you want and what you don't I, want. I out think of the I, game. I think I know what I want and don't want. That's the thing, though. I've learned enough. I've done enough soul searching. You want uh, you want the beach bars. No, oh. I will. I I go out to the beach bars just because. That was a metaphor, but we'll move on. Oh wait, we'll move on. That was a metaphor. But I get what we'll you're saying. Okay, I get what you're okay, saying. Okay. Okay. I, in that realm, okay. in that realm. Okay, 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 okay. In that okay. realm, definitely. I don't know. I don't know this other person, so I can't. Yeah. Who so am I to say? You would know better than I do. Are they in the same realm of? Are they in the same realm? She might not have been Asian enough for you. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. That's my last one. That's my last one. We can move on. We can move on. We can move on. All I'm saying is, uh, is that yeah, yeah. Um, River City anniversary it, show and nothing. Listen, what your time is coming. Your time I'm, is all coming. I'm saying is, is that shit ain't, uh, listen, I'm st- I look the same. I I look the same now as I did last episode. I'm gonna look the same next episode. Shit, my nigga gonna get finer or finer. I, I, I got Instagram. I know where you at. So if I feel like I'm up to it, <laughs> yeah. shit, shit yeah. might change. That's how I really feel. Um, man, River City Anniversary Show was amazing, man. Um, shout out to the Comedy Zone and everything they do to help us out here. Um, this was a really good lineup, man. Uh, it was uh, Mikey B was the host this time. Mikey B fucking killed it, man. Um, Leah liked him a lot. That's why he's been on the pod before. A good friend of mine. Uh, it was Mikey. My boy Christian was back, too. Obviously, Christian Blaker. You know, I rock with him. That's my guy. Uh, mm-hmm. I was on the show. Uh, Dan Venti, guy named Osric Cooley. Just really, really, really fucking good comedians. We had a really good lineup this time. Um, and it was really, really dope, man. Um, shout out to Alex for starting River City. Uh, shout out to people who showed up, man. I think this was one of those like rare fucking nights here at the club, Was bro. that the one with uh, CJ Couch on it? Yeah, oh yeah, CJ too, man. CJ's CJ. my man, bro. Wow. Uh, and uh, I think Joey Nickel was on this too. Uh, so yeah, but we had it was a, we had a lot of people on the show, right? but up. it was a really I think this is one of my favorite River City shows since we even started the shit last year. Um, so that was great. It was rare, bro. It was like one of the rare. I was in a, a whole different zone of shit. I like I came up with a whole bunch of new tags. I'm just trying to explore because I've, I've been telling y'all in the pot even like when CP was here and I was watching CP and I'm in LA doing all that shit, bro. I just like picked up on like what I want to add to my game that I didn't have here, bro. Like. Like, being more lively, bro, that shit just turned it up a whole other fucking level on stage. Like, being lively with that shit. And, and I don't know. I'm excited for, for whatever's coming in the future. Um, I did Brian Thompson's show, uh, Veterans United Craft Brewery last night. That was really dope. Uh, Anna Lepley, Daisy Tackett, um, uh, Spike Yoder was also on that show. Shout out to Vu Brew. Um, and then... Um, Oh, yeah, shout out to my guy Jake Ricca, man. Jake Ricca in Orlando. Uh, he has a really dope podcast called Get Wrecked with Jake Ricca. He likes to talk like video games and stuff like that. He runs the Milk District show that I used to go do um, and I'll be back at. But also, um, I'm going to tell the podcast this. I probably can't make the clip yet, but I'm going to be on a Don't Tell comedy show finally, man. <laughs> Thank you, Romy. Thank you. Me on a what? That's a big deal. It's a uh, don't tell comedy show. It's like a, a big comedy company where they put on all these shows around the United States. Where like, it's like secret locations, secret lineups. So you never know who's going to be on it until like the day before type shit. But they put on really, really good shows. Like, like people know the name. It's repped. And if you do enough of them, then you get a don't tell comedy special. So it's like a like 8 to 15 minute type thing that they put on their YouTube that is a really big platform. So if it's good, you know, it, it helps you get up and start doing shit. Um, CP's feature, Reg Thomas, had, I saw him, that, that I told y'all in an interview, he had his Don't Tell special come out, and then I saw him here at the club like two months, three months later. And I'm like, oh, shit, bro, I just watched him. He's blowing up doing his thing now, man. Um, so, you know, this would be my first one. Uh, oh shit! One of these. Yeah. 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 Oh wait. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hell yeah! No, that's actually a big deal. Especially this is like half the com- stand-up comedy shit I see on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. bro. Like, it's like far as like that's new age, big. like 
comedy like enterprises going on, I feel like Don't Tell is like kind of up there. Up there, yeah. Really? That's that's big as fuck. Yeah. If you do apparently the way, if you do enough of those, you or you do the right ones and meet the right people, um, you know, you just keep working the material. You get uh, you can do a, a move up the ladder and do a special that they'll put on their YouTube channel and Instagram and shit like that. So um, I'm hosting this one. In Orlando on uh, the 21st, I don't have the location or, or uh, no idea who was on there. Just shout out to Jake for putting me on, man. I really appreciate you, bro. Uh, you show me a lot of love, man, every time I come to do Milk District. Um, so, yeah, man, I just want to make sure that uh, I threw that out there. Do you got any shows or anything coming up, Logan? Bro, Jacksonville's music scene is dead. <laughs> I hate to break it to you guys. I'm going to be the first one to tell you. If anyone here is in the Jacksonville area and knows of people that need to do uh, like instrumental hip hop stuff, they want to set even opening opening first act type shit. Let me know. Be, but other than that, no music in the city is dead. 1904 died last weekend, guys, and I'm very sad about it. 1904. Um, oh, they did. Yeah, we did that podcast with uh, with Carmen and Amber talking about 1904, 1904, whatever, and they <laughs> literally closed. They literally closed down like two days later. Are you <laughs> serious, bro? Yeah. Y'all put them in the grave. I did. Did, I did, did you? I did, my, I did my best show ever. Me and my friends did our best show ever at 1904. And, uh, you know, it really just like put into perspective. It was like it wasn't our first show. It was probably like our second or third. But it really put into perspective like how big things could have been and, and, and would have been if they like the COVID shit didn't happen and all that other shit. And like Killer put in perspective like where things could have gone. Uh, with the trajectory that we had, so it, it's sad to see 1904 go because it's very important to my like my creative journey, like to yeah. where I was. But no, now that shit's gone. You know, all the places that were doing house shows are dead. It's not even really safe to go to some places in Jacks anymore to do music and shit. Better grab that five. So yeah, no, I don't have any shows coming up. Uh, you can catch me on, but on I stream though. Yeah, Logan yeah. also has been streaming out a lot. I'm proud of you for that, by the way. I do stream. This man Logan's been on stream for like I was like, it was like four or five days in a row at one point. I stream, yeah. I stream. Salute to you, tonight. sir. I'll probably stream tonight. Tomorrow what? Tell too. the people your streaming name. So and my stuff stream, like. you people. I mean, this isn't the super end of the podcast, but you can catch me on Twitch at ldb underscore twenty two. I stream video games. I stream myself making music. I stream myself bullshitting. Mm-hmm. Um, I be bunch popping of in every now and then too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I got some love. Um, it's it's fine. I shout out the podcast. In my intro every time So you can catch me on uh, The Writer's Block Bobby's Writer's Block Podcast Hey uh, We yeah. shoot the shit And you can hear from me You can hear from uh, You know The guests we have Bobby We can hear from Romy now He's been yeah. a great new addition Shout so. out to Romy too man Romy's yes. been a fucking amazing Helping yes. us turn this goddamn podcast up Alright um, I appreciate it I appreciate, I appreciate you it. man uh, I'm actually glad that you're here Romy Because I did a show And they were talking about you at the show um, And I wanted to ask you on the podcast On the air uh, Even though we've had this kind of conversation before, um, but uh, the people who I was at the show, uh, I did Brian's show, and mm-hmm. he was talking about the list of people who he has, like who he moved up to where they can do feature spots and shit like that. From so you do the eight minute, and then if you do good on that, fifteen. And um, I was booked again because I guess uh, there was like I don't know, just people who he had moved up, but he said that he haven't seen them in a long time, or they stopped doing comedy or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you were one of the people who he said you did a good eight minute spot. And he moved you up to be able to do 15, but they literally were at the table last night asking, oh, where's Romy been? What's Romy been doing? And I said, I literally, I was like, oh, man, I, I, I saw him. I've been hanging out with him. He's been coming to the pod and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as stand-up, I wanted to bring that up to you because now that I'm seeing you uh, in real life, I don't got to, like, speculate anymore. How does that make you feel? Because that, um, that's actually, I'm not bullshitting. That actually happened last night. That's nice to hear. You know, I've definitely been, um, like, AWOL from, like, performing. For like I know years. you did stand up. Yeah, man. I, I'm, I. Yeah. Some people say I'm funny. That's you know how we I mean? met. Me and Romy met. Uh, uh, <laughs> we literally, we literally. I, I did a joke about this white girl I went on a date with, and Romy came up to me outside at the Walrus and said, "Hey." You funny, nigga, but don't be doing all the white girl material. What else I'm going to do up here? <laughs> it's my life, bro. You can't, st- you can't yeah. steal that from me, bro. Uh, okay, I see where, I like, see where you're at now. Vince, so, you know? But, yeah, how does that make you feel, man? It's nice to hear, you know, and it's nice to hear, like, people were appreciating my, like, yeah. like material. You know what I mean? Cause, oh, like, for sure. I definitely put a lot of myself into my material. I think that's part of why I took a break, bro, because, like, it doesn't, like, 
at the level we're at right now, comedy doesn't really pay anything. So it could feel yeah. very depleting to like yeah. put all of me out there. You know what I mean? For nothing. Like, yeah, bro. Although, just like telling time, people my right. whole life story. So I don't rap. I've been getting a couple dollars in my pocket a little bit here and there now, though, man. Those yeah. times feel nice. Most they of the time, do, you know, I'm doing a show you, you for slide, free. You slid that little twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah, that is why I don't rap anymore. I literally, but like, I was putting but myself out there. I also think it's because of just our culture of comedy was just different, bro. Like. Orlando and Tampa, and Miami, like like they have more paid shows like that. Yeah, we we got to think we're working on it. We're working on it, but but that's what made you like take a step back. You're saying, yeah, that and like just other like life obligations. I was in like a new relationship, bro. Yeah, and honestly, the the biggest thing is I, I when I started doing comedy, one of the biggest rushes was like the appeal and the attention I was getting yeah. from everybody, bro. Right. Like, getting on stage and being that guy, mm. you know, and mm-hmm. getting off and people like, oh, good set, uh, you know what I mean? I but, like, that. I don't know. I stopped craving it when I started having somebody rubbing on my back saying I love you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I stopped wow. Doing it. I stopped kind of giving it. That's them, interesting. You know, and, like, I just recently, though, yeah. it's like. Uh, I think I might react the opposite, bro. Like, like. Nigga, me doing this shit alone, nigga, this should be depressing as fuck. You need somebody to be like, you're the best. Don't let these niggas get you. <laughs> fuck all them That's niggas. That's the thing, bro. Like, it's like you get, you get in there and, like, you get in a relationship and you got somebody, like, being that supportive person. And you're like, damn, bro, why do I want to go hang out with a bunch of strangers that just want to hear me talk about my sad life yeah. when I can smoke weed and play video games with this baddie right now? <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shut the, I hate I was. <laughs> bro, that's I your swear, own bro. life choice. You Logan, is lonely uh, by your, You can have a baddie playing video games with you right now, bro. bro. Uh, you get, no, I'm on the podcast. That could happen right now. <laughs> this nigga, bro. <laughs> bro, you can literally hop. I bet you you could find you a shoddy in like less than a week, bro. Like easily, easy. easily, easily, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know how long it took me to find a girlfriend, bro. Yeah. I was on a you three know. year journey, bro. Hey, it was three <laughs> three years of that's a that's going good. through the rummage, bro. <laughs> going yeah. through crazy dates, but, bro. but look at where you are now. You're happy. I get You're happier. it, bro. I get I it. I could get a shorty in a week, but I might not be as happy. Uh, that's not what we're looking cat, for right bro, now. Cat. We're looking for you to to get your reps in. Bro, you I, had to, I really? had to get my reps in. That's bro, what I went on. A, that's yeah. what I'm looking for, bro. Crazy date story, bro. <laughs> yeah. I went on this date with this girl. While we in the middle of the date, bro, she's texting some dude, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, uh, what's this going? Oh on? yeah, I can't do that. And she goes, oh, this is my this is my god best friend. I'm like, oh, so immediately I'm like, so like, why aren't y'all dating if y'all best friends, right? And she's like, oh, well, you know, we've never met before. I'm just like, wait, what? Oh, okay. And I'm like, Internet have, have y'all ever, like, seen each other in person or, like, seen, like, a FaceTime or something? She's like, no. I'm like, have y'all ever talked on the phone? She's like, yeah, we talked on the phone, but, like, his number always changes. And he lives here in Jacksonville, though. I'm like, wait, he lives here in Jacksonville, but y'all never, never met. Never, never FaceTime, never saw yeah, it. I'm like, catfish. bro, that's what I told her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no way. Like, no I'm like, way. yo, baby, you probably getting catfish. Yeah, or like, he must dude. not think she that cute. Because there ain't no nigga who live in your city <laughs> going to be talking to you forever and not try to link and slide at least once, bro. Bro, he, she, That's only niggas who get in reps. Like, you know, like, like when you just need to practice flirting, those are the girls. That, yeah, like, <laughs> bro, what are you laughing? <laughs> she really, bro. So upon my I pushing left her, at that. she decided like she was like, "Hey, are you a catfish?" Right? Yeah. And buddy calls her up, bro. He's like, "Who the fuck is this nigga you're with? Talking wow. about I'm a catfish." Yeah, da 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 da. Mind you, bro, I didn't even mention this part. They had this weird kink where every time she would sleep with a man, bro, she would call him and he put himself on mute. What the and, fuck? Yes, bro. So buddy would be listening to you put down the pipe, bro. <laughs> and like in the background, I was like, oh, oh, oh no. Nah. And then mind you, bro, she like she was she had called him like on the <laughs> that, date. That and, a she, sicko. and he was like, I bro, I swear to God, they were talking, she was talking about like fucking me, bro. Cause she was like, Oh, I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight, but if it does, I'll call you. But Wait, bitch, no, you won't. That nigga was giving that, <laughs> that nigga was giving reviews. Like, that last nigga gave you dick better. You know, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. What that the that's fuck? crazy. That was a wild. Dude. I don't be outside enough. You got to get out there, bro. It's crazy. That's no so worry. Look, we outside now. Bro. I'd have literally. Hung, I I would have left. I, I would have left. Bro, I didn't like. I took a home. You know, and like it was just like I was doing stand up. This was like early in my stand up. So I was like, oh, bro, for the content. You know, what I mean, I got to stick in this date now, yeah. bro. So yeah. we, niggas <laughs> really doing anything for the content. Nigga, I'm <laughs> trying to get you. On the way, I'm the bro. type of nigga I will like 
Like with the kiss cam, nigga. I, are you texting another? I will leave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, for sure. It's like Waiter, it's about check, finding please. that fine line. I'll pay for the bro. check. I'll pay for the check because I, <laughs> no, I asked you to come out here. That's too real. That's too real. But I get, get up and leave. As close as you can to that sketch line, bro. That's nah, the, man. Y'all are better than me. Nah, I bitch, y'all are better men than me. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about none of that. Oh, shit, man. Uh, what else we got? Um, these things. All right, listen. I, I normally don't do edibles. I hate edibles. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But. I've never had one. Uh, my homeboy gave me something. They like, sent me something from Cali, and it was like like a ten pack. And so I was like, "All right, why?" Not? I was literally just gonna pass it off to somebody because I don't care about edibles at all. But I was, you know what? Why not? I might as well try it, right? I took that shit before work, bro. When I tell you, I nigga, I was off my, I was off my ass at work. No, I'm not even joking, bro. Not even that strong. These little things right here. What's the milligram? Uh, it's like a hundred milligram THC. Or, uh, or some, I don't know. Oh, oh, 10. 10. 10, 10, 10, per, 10 per gummy. Bro, like you, gummy got, you got rocked off a of tenner, bro? Bro, edibles, edibles inside, bro. Like, that's, <laughs> I'm like, I can control my high when I smoke flour. How many did you eat? Edibles, I can't control. I ate a whole, like, one whole gummy. Uh, but at work, nigga, I'm, I was like, nigga, lifting them trays, serving tables and shit. That shit was so much heavier than usual, bro. I've, I've also never done this. I spilled sweet tea on a guy. <laughs> it, was, it was a white dude and his family. They came in to celebrate a birthday. And it, it was him, his wife, his two daughters, right? Was he nice about it? At least? Bro, bro, like the girls were giggling. It was the girls, bro. So they laughing, laughing it up. Let me tell you, this is why I love white people. Oh, bro, you was I on spilled, your ass, bro. I spilled sweet tea on this man. When I tell you these niggas still tip me $70 I was like, oh, I love you, sir. You were amazing. He Nigga, still tips you? I spilled sweet tea all over this man's suit, and he tipped me 70 bucks. Big, that's, you know, Congratulations, man. You know, that's, that's, I, I, bro, that's, I, you handled probably, that better than me. I, my ass would have been like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I cleaned it up. But I would have been nonverbal. I went back. I was making jokes and shit, bro, but I don't think I'm going to ever do that again. I'm, I've, been, I've also, this is the first time I've ever pottered off of edible. I had an edible before y'all got here, and uh, that's why. I'm, <laughs> hey, yeah. this is I mean, you're doing great. I, you, I, I didn't know. This is a great episode. We're killing it. We are? Yeah, I think, yeah. Sure. Um, what do we have coming up, man, before we get out of here? Uh, Logan doesn't leave town for another couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I leave what town you, on the 30th, so yeah, two so weeks from today. what do you got today? going on? What you planning before? We got we to gotta hang out and do something again before we Yeah, get. for sure, man. We could do that uh, I got work room. and shit. Oh, we could do an escape we, room. We could do that escape fun. room finally. Uh, escape Come room. back and tell the pod about can get, it. get a better time than the folio girls, bro. See if y'all can beat them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely. No offense to y'all if y'all watch this episode. We gonna smoke y'all. <laughs> I have some ideas, bro. Where where we literally like me and Logan, like we go out and we start doing stuff, and we do it as a competition with the those people, like the girls <laughs> in folio, or like two on two type keep, shit. Keep you a know? leaderboard going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gonna win that. I think they that said would be a fun. They like, said they Olympics. made it like with ten seconds left. Yeah, I, I, the hardest one. We yeah. gonna be out of there. Ten minutes before that shit. Done. All right, so we gonna what? We gonna do it before the thirty? Before you leave? Yeah, yeah. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Sign me up. Be, what do you got going on before? Uh, just open mics, bro. You know, come out, come out to Rain Dogs if you're a local. Rain Dogs over on Riverside. Rain Dogs is open mics. Yeah, Monday night, uh, 10 p.m. They got a little hot potato thing going on. Okay, mm -hmm. potato comedy. Shit. Yeah, and, I um, usually uh, I usually work Monday nights and then go over to Christians at Kava. Yeah, like, Kava like, Lounge too. Literally, my job like we work right here and then the bar oh. is right next oh, to okay, Kava, okay. not the restaurant. The Kava restaurant. Not, like the restaurant is next to the Kaaba bar where, where we do the open mic. Uh, downtown Jacks. I don't know where uh, Kaaba is. Uh, like, uh, yeah, King Street. Yeah, King shit. Street. Yeah, or yeah. Sam, is it San Marco or King Street? Somewhere around there. It's the same yeah, like in that um, area by the Mosh. Oh, true, 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 true. I haven't yeah, been to the Mosh in so long, bro. That was like a. I, last time I went to the Mosh it was like a field trip in middle school. Oh, wow. I, I used to go to Kirby Smith. Bro, that's uh, a great date night, bro. The mosh, mosh? Yeah, as bro. an adult, that's a yeah, date. That's a thing, bro. It's a thing. You gotta, bro. Feeding your child, you gotta feed that inner child, bro. Yeah, you I'm talking like, about you want to connect with a lady, shoddy. bro. Take her out, take her out to do some like re bro. I'm telling you, I took a girl out on a finger painting date, bro. One of the best dates I ever had, bro. She was eating it up, bro. Yeah, he had a little charcuterie board or whatever with us too, bro. We no, we're eat. eating charcuterie with your painted fingers? No, bro. We <laughs> eat first, bro. Then uh, you did the finger mm. and like oh, the little, charcuterie little board. Tipsy, I'll do bro, it. Because yeah. I brought the wine coolers with us too, bro. Yeah, they had strawberries oh, you and up. You were, bro, you were but, trying to show but, up. But bet, bro, it was only like maybe like $45. You're trying to show bro. up, for real. Like, it, yeah. Like, yeah. it looks nice, really spitting nice, game right now. It looks nice, right? you like, oh my God, the effort. Baby, I only came out with two twenties. Yeah. I didn't blow the bank, bro. I don't have dates. I spent $300. It ain't even this nice nigga, book. him. You mm -hmm. gotta be. You How old are you, Romy? About twenty. I'll be twenty six next month. Okay. Hey, congratulations, yeah. nigga. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Oh shit. 
Yeah, I'll be 25 in September, and so will Logan. So we're, uh, we're all around the same realms. Yeah, man. Uh, but it sounds like Romy has some more dating experience than we do. Yeah, though, we do, know? yeah, definitely. Might, might need to be soaking up some game on this next coming episode <laughs> of the pod. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, listen, man, that's all I got for the day. Did I miss anything, gentlemen? What we got? What we got before we get out I don't out think you missed anything of relevance. No. None. Well, listen, man, we appreciate y'all rocking with us, the best listeners in the goddamn world. You know we love you. We know we appreciate you. Um, real shit, man. Help us out. Help us out. Check the link in the bio. You can support our podcast. Help us get, you know, more equipment, some marketing dollars, man, so we can get in front of more people. We traveling now. Everybody doing their damn thing. So maybe we can get on some shows on the road, um, some more merch soon. I swear. Um, Discord link, man. Fuck with us on the Discord too, man. We appreciate y'all with that, man. And also the clips, the clips, and on YouTube. Make sure y'all engage in dropping some comments with the content we got coming forward. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm at Bobby Comedian on all social media: Instagram, uh, TikTok, Twitter. Uh, just at, be real at Bobby Comedian. I'll be posting some more clips. I'll be posting funny shit, and uh, you know you, the, some behind the scenes life. Now that we actually hanging out and shit, uh, you know y'all get some behind the scenes of how our real relationships are off camera. Uh, my boy Logan, where you at, man? You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, TikTok at underscore LDB22. You can find me on Twitch streaming most nights of the week at underscore no 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 scratch that at LDB underscore twenty two. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, that's all the shit I, that's yeah. really all. Every also, follow us yeah. on YouTube, maybe Bobby TV. Yeah. Maybe Bobby TV yeah. on YouTube. It's not Bobby up. Comedian. Uh, some other niggas took that shit on YouTube. <laughs> but maybe Bobby TV um, is where you can get all these luscious videos. And I, I know y'all hear the sounds of our beautiful voices, but if you want to see how handsome and incredibly good we look while we do this podcast as well, that would be the place to go. Romy Rome, where you at, man? Where can people find you? Man, you can catch me in real life. You know, open mics at uh, Rain Dogs and Birdies, <laughs> Kava Lounge. And uh, Vusoir over here in the Jacksonville area. You can also see me, of course, like doing this podcast regularly. That's pretty much it, man. He's raw for saying You can catch me in real life. Yeah, Nigga, that I don't is be on that social media shit. That shit is kind of hard. Catch me, on, catch me in the bro. real I was, world. I, I had that one prep, bro. I yeah. was thinking about that you one. Are. I wasn't going to say that, and I was going to steal that shit at some point. <laughs> that shit was fire. Respect. Listen, man, we love y'all. We appreciate you. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Uh, what do I want to end this with?